Hello folks, coming up next is something interesting. What's something that every parent should tell their child? It's alright to make a mistake, as long as you can admit it and grow from it. Unfortunately most parents can't do it as well so they blame the kid and insult it. Sadly true. I was fortunate enough that my mom often encouraged me to try something, and if I failed, then that'd just be an opportunity to learn how to do in better next time. It's horrible that a lot of children don't have that and grow up scared to try in case they fail. A good parent shouldn't be afraid to apologize to their kid when they're wrong. Yeah, if you can apologize to a three-year-old, you've got humility which, to me, is a very important trait to have as a human being, especially as a parent. I remember this time when I was five to six or so, and my mom accidentally made a small grease fire I'm talking like four inches across, in the pan. Apparently she never knew to not pour water on a grease fire, and when I told her, she did it anyways. Steen. I'm proud of you. Gonna make me cry. Never gonna tell a lie. And hurt you. If you make a mistake and need help, come to me. Kids tend to make bad situations worse by trying not to get caught. I know way too many people who got in drunk driving accidents because they were too afraid to call their parents for help and drove home or got in the car with a drunk driver. My mom told this to me and I think a lot more parents should, I don't care if you get too drunk at a party as long as you tell me and I can pick you up. I won't yell, I won't punish you, as long as you are responsible and it doesn't happen all the time. In my opinion teaching your kids it's okay to be a bit rebellious, make mistakes, and live their life in their teens is a good thing to do. I never had a reason to not trust my mom because of this. OFC I got consequences for some things, but if I ever made a mistake and needed her, she was there. Admitting they can be wrong sometimes. Parents are humans and make mistakes. Kids need to see that. Maybe also say thanks if the child is correcting their mistakes. Unless the kid is consistently rude about doing it. Don't let them be rude to others due to their errors. Everyone has problems. Learning from them is what shows a person's character. Be kind. You never know what someone might be going through and I love you. Sometimes you're just collateral damage in someone's war with themselves. I don't know why but this made me tear up. If anyone ever tells them, this will be our little secret, especially if it involves physical contact, my child needs to get as far away from that person ASAP, find a trusted adult, and contact me. My child will know they will not be in trouble for telling and I will always believe them. There are good secrets and bad secrets. Bad secrets that make you feel unhappy don't need to be kept a secret. You either can tell me, grandma, or your teacher, and we all will work together to make that secret go away so you can feel happy again. You will never ever be in trouble for telling about a secret that makes you feel bad. This, exactly. Kids need to know you will love them no matter what's happened to them or what they were coerced into doing. I love you. Just the way you are. And when you smile. The whole world stops. The proper terminology for their genitals. Other adults aren't always going to know what your kid means when they say someone played with my monkey or my tutu, and predators aren't going to call them by the proper names either, so it's another deterrent for abuse to occur. Vagina, penis, vulva, testicles these are not dirty words people. Edit thank you for the award kind stranger. I'm also glad to know my kids aren't the only ones embarrassing me to death, so thank you for the laughs too. Worth repeating. Vagina, penis, vulva, testicles these are not dirty words people. Sorry, when appropriate. Yay, spouse taught our family there are two responses for an apology thank you for your apology. And you don't need to apologize. In the first instance it removes the feelings of the offended from needing to feel like granting forgiveness and instead simply acknowledges their apology. The second is there to provide feedback in case they apologize unnecessarily. I think it has been valuable in teaching the kiddo when an apology is appropriate. Hopefully they take that lesson when they go out into the world and not be someone who always thinks they did something wrong and is apologizing constantly. Look out for the smaller kids on the playground, kindness is free so make sure to use it. Part of our routine is asking who he was nice to that day. Now that I'm doing daycare drop off, I ask who he can be nice to and sometimes offer suggestions on nice things to do. It's important to be kind, but you don't need to be everyone's best friend. Some PPL are just not going to like you, and that's okay, it goes both ways. Also being a kid slash teenager is effing hard work. It gets so much better after high school, I promise. Now that's sound life advice right there. Be careful with your choice of friends. 
and with your choice of relationships. Sometimes none is better than one. People say kids should learn from their own mistakes but goddamn if I didn't wish my parents had intervened in one of my craftier relationships. Took me three years to sort it out myself and I don't feel better off for having wasted all that time and taken all that damage. Parents are supposed to protect their kids too. Whenever another kid is being mean to them, physically or verbally, don't tell your child that the other kid was being mean to them because they like your child. Your child might grow up mistaking abuse for affection. You just have to imagine that both parties are grown up here, a little boy made fun of the way you act? Aw sweetheart, he just has a little crush on you is all. Versus oh my goodness he won't let you do X because he doesn't like it? That's a red flag for a manipulative partner, get out of there now. Why is it so bad when they're grown ups but somehow cute when they're kids? Teach the one to have self-respect and the other to have respect for others otherwise it turns into the second situation above. Childhood is like being drunk. Everyone remembers what you did except you. So be careful. My dad. Except we're also going to use everything you do to belittle you, make you feel like you're unwanted, and pressure you to be a copy of us at the expense of who you actually are. My parents. They have a poor outlook. You can learn both positive and negative lessons from parents, and you can choose to live the opposite way. I hope you can value yourself regardless of anyone else's opinion. What would have been your answer or question? Leave it in the comments below. Slap that like and subscribe button for more, and check out the link in the video description for even more answers. Peace out, and catch you in the next video.